Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. The refractive index of glass is 3 by 2. The refractive index of water is 4 by 3. What is the critical angle of light traveling from glass to water? So we have to find the critical angle uh, when the light is traveling from glass to water. So this will be glass and this is going to be water. So for total internal reflection to take place, that is when we are talking about critical angle, the light should be coming from the denser medium towards the rarer medium. It should move from denser to rarer. It cannot go from rarer to denser. So definitely the light would be coming, it would be uh, hitting this junction from the glass. Yes. And later it would be going like this. So because we want it to be equal to critical angle, so what happens is the light only moves along the outer surface. So it's like, uh, like this. So this will be the incident angle, which is equal to theta critical in the case when this angle is 90 degree. Now this is taken as N1 and this is taken as N2. I have chosen N2 as the heavier refractive index. So accordingly, we are going to apply the Snell's law here. So it will be N2 sine theta critical is equal to N1 sine 90 degrees. So sine of theta critical becomes N1 divided by N2. And so theta critical is equal to sine inverse N1 divided by N2. Now N1 for water, it is 4 by 3 divided by 3 by 2. So this can be calculated by just doing the reciprocal and multiplying each other. So it will be 8 divided by 9. So this becomes 8 divided by 9. So your answer is sine inverse 8 by 9. And so the answer is going to be D. Now my dear students, another thing in the data booklet, it would be this formula will not be given there. They would be saying that the theta critical is sine inverse 1 by n. Now the problem is how to adapt according to the data booklet because you people want to use the data booklet. Now, wherever it is written n in our optics, wherever there is written n, n can always be replaced by n2 divided by n1 provided n2 is bigger than n1. Always remember that n should be greater than 1. Okay, so if this condition is met, you can just substitute n2 by n1 here and you see the same formula can be created if you know this concept. So the refractive index, effective refractive index will be n2 by n1. So we can say that, okay, fine, n2 by n1. So the glass is having n refractive index and water is having relatively one. So it's a relative uh, refractive index kind of. So accordingly, you can just substitute n is equal to n2 by n1 here. And there you have the answers. It's better not to talk in that sense. Okay. So is this fine, my dear students? And if there is any other problem, please do let me know in the comment section. This is how we do it. Let us verify the answer from the mark scheme once. And yes, the answer given is D. So with this, my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best.